Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel Little Love Stories. Today I'm gonna do your weekly love reading for the month of October. Keep in mind that these readings are general. This may be resonate with you or maybe not resonate with each and every one of you. If it resonates with you, you can take guideline from this reading and if it not resonate with you, you can simply ignore it. And for covering every area of your love life, I'm gonna use this spread. This is easy for both of us to understand what is happening in your love life, in your person's love life. I will take four cards for your partners, feeling, attention and concentration, four cards for your feeling, attention and concentration and two cards for mutual energies. Okay, Virgo, let's get started. What is the Virgo person's feelings towards Virgo? What is the Virgo person's feelings towards Virgo? What is the Virgo person's feelings towards Virgo? We are having here Wheel of Fortune, Page of Wands. Two of Cups, King of Sword. So what are the Virgo's feelings toward this person? What are the Virgo's feelings toward this person? We are having here the Hierophant, Queen of Pentacles, Temperance, Five of Pentacles. So what are the mutual energies? Ouch. Three of Swords and Page of Pentacles. These are your cards, Virgo, and sign that could relate to your person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with this Page of Wands. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with this Page of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with this King of Sword and with this Three of Swords. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with this Two of Cups. Taurus with this Hierophant. Gemini with this Temperance. Okay, let's talk about your person's feeling first. And this person want to offer you love. This person is so excited towards you, Virgo. This person is uh, see you like uh, their golden opportunity they see you like you are their best chance of love they they their feelings are ups and down but they are so excited with this page of wand sometimes they are totally in love with you and another is another time they are highly in love with you like that kind of uh, excitement in this person's and this person really want to tell you this person really want to talk about love they they uh, every all the time they want to talk about their love, how they love you, how they miss you, how they feel towards you, what kind of passion they have towards you, what is their fantasies, what is their imagination, what they want to do with you, what they want to do with your, you know, they want to explore you. This kind of uh, passion, this kind of ups and down feelings uh, this person is having towards you. This is this person's situation right now. And this person feels strong, uh, like string towards you, strong connection towards you this they see you as their like best match they see you as their the one they feel like that you are their soulmate that's how they feel towards you Virgo and with this king of uh, sword they see you like you are a little bit reserved and you are a little bit your feelings are pause they, this is this is some kind of uh, feeling they are getting from you like you are a little bit pause in the situation or maybe this person is these feelings like this uh, uh, passion and this uh, exploring you and this is enthusiasm this uh, excitement ups and down they they like feel strong string towards you these feelings may be paused sometimes but then they again with this feel of fortune this is keep rolling this is a roller coaster sometimes they pause and then again they roll the feelings and the situation is like that. So let's see what is your feelings. And you are just uh, like this, uh, want a long-term relationship, long-term commitment uh, with this person. You also want that. You also want to get married. You also want something religious, something traditional with this person. And you are so real. You are not wearing any kind of mask. You are so straightforward. You are so loving. You are so caring. You are... Like this queen of and this king of pentacle you are like that you are uh, like so uh, 
uh, offer uh, nourishing so kind so loving and you are trying to find the right balance in this uh, situation as you want a long term relationship with this person so you need a right balance in your life like right balance in your finances and your emotions and uh, you feel like that there is some kind of uh, little bit uh, ups and down in your finances i guess you you face some kind of uh, like uh, uh, in, in some kind of you, you, in in your you know career or in your finances you feel some kind of blockage for a moment or maybe you feel like this person is uh, making make you to feel like abandoned there is two possibilities but highly i can i i think you have some kind of block in your finances and you feel some you get some kind of you know uh, in uh, restriction in your money and the finances uh, this is that kind of uh, like I, I highly feel like that that's why you are finding right balance in order to uh, money is also you know important uh, in order if you are taking your uh, relationship to, to the next level you are finding a right balance in this situation Virgo and you are like uh, this uh, like you guiding yourself and you are guiding others uh, like how to balance energy so let's uh, talk about your personal your mutual feelings somehow this person feel heartbroken this person feel pain in their heart or maybe this person sometime you know this is a heartbreaking card but in this situation I can say that this person is like thinking negatively like when will it gonna wrong when it will turn into you know something bad that kind of thoughts in this person's head this person even everything is so perfect but still this person is uh, uh, like uh, when will it go wrong when will it go downside that kind of uh, thoughts in this person's head right now and uh, with this page of pentacle you are so interested in in this person you want to offer your love and your affection to to this person you are really interested you are so curious you are so uh, loving and you are so there is a stable energy a little bit immature but it will like with this page of uh, you you are new in this you you both are it's not immaturity like when two people are in a relationship they are in a process to know each other so it's so new they are uh, they are not experienced uh, they, they don't have ex maybe they are experienced a lot of relations and a lot of other feelings but every time with the new person there is new feelings new experience you experience right now you both have no zero experience towards each other that's why uh, we, there is some kind of lack of experience toward each other it's not immaturity all the time we say like pages and the, the person is immature no sometimes we just don't have uh, experience towards each other you do, we don't know each other very well but we want to know this person want to know this person want to spend time with you you also want to talk about love to to this person so let's see what else we have for you Virgo what else for Virgo? Okay. Seven of Swords. What else for Virgo? Five of Cups. Ace of Swords. Okay, okay, Virgo. The thing is that uh, this person feeling uh, some kind of deception. This person feeling some kind of lie. Like with this uh, seven of, uh, this is five of pentacles in your chart and three of sword in this person's heartbreak card, like in a mutual feelings, and then the seven of sword. Like this is a lie. This person lied to you, and you, uh, you are loop in your uh, past. You are reacting over your past. You are keep thinking about your past, and. Uh, the, the, you you both are entering in this uh, energies this person is uh, maybe be, feel betrayed with someone else and be, maybe this person is lied to you and they realizing that they should shouldn't lie to you and you are stuck in your past and uh, with this uh, 
in this if this is happening with the both of you in your inner you know in in with alone when you are alone in with yourself you know you never lie to yourself you know nobody lied to themselves so seven of sword you realize that you lied to this person you betrayed someone you this is this is uh, you feeling right now in this energy maybe you got betrayed maybe you you find out a lie someone lying to you someone manipulating you and this person is in the, in this uh, energy like uh, thinking about past and regretting over past and feel so abandoned like uh, someone uh, leave you in their this past this past energy and as a outcome in this situation you really want to take a sword and cut off all the sharp edges all the harsh uh, you know you want to cut everything and make it softer you want a new beginning you want a new uh, it will begin again if if you guys are in this energy uh, you will start you will cut off your this feeling of betrayal manipulation this uh, uh, past energy this heartbreak this abandoned feel abandoned and feel miserable if there is something with your finances with this ace of sword you will cut everything even a with the sword beginning starting something and removing something is hard removing something uh, from your uh, you know is it's hard with this ace of swords but it will happen you will uh, arise you will uh, you will uh, start a new beginning okay let's see what advice messages i should have for you virgo cure your heart meditate give yourself space seek for truth have faith these are few advice messages in the end and somebody of your reading is this person is really want to talk about their feelings they want to show their love they they feel strong strings towards you and then you will enter in that energy of uh, regrets and betrayal feel a little bit heartbroken and uh, sometimes you feel uh, your person feel like that when it will go wrong and that kind of uh, like energies there you will enter but then uh, with this ace of sword you will cut these energies from your life and move forward these are few summary of your reading hope uh, this uh, helpful for you if it helpful for you you can support my channel and thank you so much for your time and your attention god bless you bye